it is now pirouetting in space at hyperspeed. I am not getting on that ship. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Star Salvage. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and our brick, our flying brick, has made it back to the ISI Junkyard Station, where we do have station services. And today, we need to find if we can actually buy, for example, Pentaxid. We cannot apparently do we not have enough credits how many credits do we have I mean it says buy okay if I said I seven percent I can't buy like units needed uh this looks less than Stella I mean I can I can buy a thousand laser charges for 4,000 credits. I cannot buy Pentaxid. I wonder if Polaris, if the Polaris station services can give me Pentaxid. Um, that is not the news I was looking for, but hopefully ISI can at least buy my crap or at least some of it to take me from being the pauper which I am to actually having some serious funds so we're back here again this little short guy was uh, getting in the way okay Mr. Major Salvage what would you buy from me I mean I do have tons of these but you would buy you'll buy some large generators off me which i still have quite a lot of um so that's good let's start with those because i still have a lot of those let's see let's um okay let's swap this around let's go to the storage box for now and put the ammo here then I can send over things I want to sell. I am going to hold on to four of these and sell the rest. I shouldn't need any more, but I might want to take them apart later for parts. But I suspect I'll run into more anyway. But a bunch of these fuel tanks, I'm more than happy to sell. Happy to keep just ten happy to keep seven of those the thrusters I want so I'm not gonna sell any thrusters let's see how what that does for me so let's start with oh I need to put them on my bar whoops let's link to that so that's going on my bar I want to sell that um, let's see if we can sell the, the grow plot just out of interest because we have a lot of grow plots and grow plots don't seem to be particularly hard to come by so let's put the fuel tanks on um, let's sell at least one of my pentaxid tanks maybe a few of those um, I'm gonna sell those eight not gonna sell a cockpit I'm happy to sell the T3 extenders I don't really need those I have a set of T4s let's see what we what will you buy from buy from me uh, let's move to here all right let's sell you some T1 gens so yeah the moment I have 11k So that's got us up to 180,000. We can sell a bunch of these, which will max him out. I could sell some of the big ones, but I'm not going to. 
Um, and a couple of small ones I would like as well. Oh, I could have sold a bunch of large O2 tanks. I will do that. Uh, the one Pentaxid tank I will sell. That is good money for the Pentaxid tank. Let's have a look here. We've got base extenders. CPU extenders. Look, there you go. You, you, he'll only buy two of these and he'll buy three of these. But he's buying them for big money. There we go. I'm already up to 2.8 million. Okay. Now I'm happy at least with the financial situation. Financial situation? I'm pretty tidy. I'm pretty loaded. From that side, I can buy what I like. Uh, anything I would like to buy while I'm here. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I'd like to buy. Have you got um, some of these universal cartridges? Can I buy a bunch of those? No, let's see. I don't know how many clips they have. They're not that expensive, so we'll buy, say, 40 of them. See how that goes. Ah, screw it. Let's buy... A hundred. There you go. That should be plenty. Because we've got that uni cartridge thing, we should be able to... To use it. You know, I don't mind if it's a if it ends up being a waste of money. Um, we could buy some laser rifle rounds, which I think I probably will do. Saves me actually making them. And oh, we want to buy, if we can, some multi-tool charges. That's the other thing we'd like to buy: multi-tool charges. Yes. Um, how much do you sell them for? Right, I will take 74, sir. Job's a good one. Okay, we're not going to be short of any multi-tool charges anytime soon. So, that is good news. The other thing... Let's see, what kind of constructor is... Uh, I, I don't need that. I can do it with my large constructor. What am I thinking? I should be able to build... An advanced constructor with my large constructor I can so I can get that going because I want an advanced constructor but I should now be able to no I can't I still can't use my uni cartridge pistol what the hell oh because I the uni cartridges are not on me they are here so I have 40 charges yes I hope this gun is decent I'm gonna be very disappointed if it's not so, with that completed, I don't want to go there, clearly, but I would like to go to see if either these Polaris areas or Polaris station, I'm sure one of these had a Polaris actual sta station there I visited. I need to see if I can get some station services. Because fuel is one thing, which I don't mind, to be honest, grabbing some fuel from here as well, just to top up the fuel supply. Because let's be honest, I should have the money now. I, I really need to rename this, don't I, as well. And can I turn it off? I thought I turned it off. I have turned it off, but for some reason the thrusters show that they're going. Okay. So let's just rename this as Serves Scrapper. Oops. Uh, scrapper, let's get it right. There we go. I think that was Scraper, but... Never mind. Let's uh, now see Station Services. What can you do for me? Oh, now, now I have the money. Now I can buy Pentaxid. Um, 
So I will. I mean, it's expensive as all but Jesus. But, you know, at least I can get round. And I'm going to top up my fuel and top up my oxygen at the same time. And I'm still got two million credits. So that is awesome. So how much pentaxid is that? That is uh, enough. Enough to travel some distance. Because the other thought is, is do I top up the pentaxid? Oh God, what's happening again? Do I top up the pentaxid on the um, the doobie firkin? Yes, that one. Um, well, I was going to say on the SV, but the SV doesn't have a warp drive for now, so I think it's fair to say that the answer to that is a resounding no. So, with that, we need to decide where our next stop is going to be. Because we've made our station services. That has been a rousing success. So, where to now? I didn't check if they sell. Um, I didn't check if they had a what you call it a oh, words words a detector. So I think my plan is going to be to start off by jumping to. Hopefully, there's a junkyard here. Yes, there is. There's a junkyard here. I mean, this is asteroid field starter. This is space junkyard starter. But last time in the space junk junkyard starter, I managed to find a detector. And though it's 10 AU of pentaxid, we're less concerned now. I think it's I think it's a worthwhile investment. So let's see if this is going to work. OK, we're going to stop this ship right here. There is no base within. Uh, yes, I know. And I am going to turn off the thrusters and hope 17 hours of power. That's more like it. That's what we like to see. We're going to get in this one and we're going to go and see if we can find ourselves a detector. The other thing we need to do is make sure we take with us our at least some of our newly gotten salvage charges because we're going to want those. All right. Also, let's make sure the storage box is empty. Yes, the ammo repository is good. We've got a couple of spares in there just in case. We've got some food. We've got oxygen. Are we topped up on oxygen in the actual ship? Not entirely. Let's just sort that too. And let's go. I know there was a door, but I decided not to go out the door. Don't ask me why. OK. Now, my previous big wins were from ones like this that are out and about rather than. Rather than the little little ones, so I know waypoint this and have it on HUD. There's a colonist station here, which was fairly typical as well. But what I did find before were some pings on the map that looked like ships, but but well, sorry, didn't look like ships. They looked like POIs, but were actually ships. It'd be really nice if all of a sudden we found some pentaxid here um, in one of these, but we'll have to find out what's going on. Okay. It's a destroyed Aurora TX, which is indeed, I believe, a small ship. We'll just check it out. It's pretty destroyed. 
It does have, on the other hand, a freaking drill laser. Okay. Okay. I've not seen one of those at where, where we've just come from. So let's have the freaking drill laser. Let's also have the storage repository because that's worth having. Thank you, harvest repository. I'll take the turret for good measure and I'll take that damn drill laser. Okay. Anything else I really care about? I mean, yes, a couple of jet thrusters, maybe, but you know, my heart's not completely sold on it. That extracted fuel isn't very much. That will do. I mean, again, could take the blocks. I really have to turn off shadows on the thing. If you get that stupid shadow flickering, it's a bug at the moment. So you'd ha you have to go into your options here and go to blah, 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 shadow quality and turn it off. And then it looks a bit thing, but you know, you don't get that flickering. Anyway, while I was coming out here, I spotted exactly what I was talking about. One of these little droplet teardrop markers that look like a ship. So, or sorry, that looks like a POI, but it's probably a ship. So I'm going to go and investigate that as the priority. Okay, there's two over here. We're approaching the first. Let's see what we've got. Whatever this is, this looks pretty junked. This is space trash. Hello, space trash. Wow, the space trash is really just what's left of an asteroid after someone drilled the crap out of it. Awesome. Okay. Next on the list. Okay, this looks more promising this time. This looks a lot more promising. And there's another one 13 odd clicks away. This is wreckage. This is definitely what we're talking about. So this is actually quite a decent wreck. Would have been happy to find this. This has plenty of emplacements for gun turrets and things like this. This would be a good starter. CV. It's got a large constructor on board by the looks of it. We can even put our core down. Yep. There we go. I'm going to take the small constructor. I'm not sure if I'll take the large. Uh, we might take the large just for good measure for now. Take those bits. Take the med bay. Let's see how rapidly we're filling up our uh, storage. Pretty rapidly. But what I really want is a detector. Let's see what we've got under blocks and devices here. We've got some sentry guns. Under equipment, we have a wireless connection. Damn you. A storage repository with me. Um, ammo repository. Not a lot. We'll eat that. And that was it. So, back to the menu here. Is there anything I really care about other than nabbing some of the fuel? Which, of course, we'll do. Because you always nab the bloody fuel. Um, is there anything else we really want? Grav gen, glow light, hangar doors, turret. Like minigun sentry turrets, they're quite nice. I wouldn't mind some of those because I'd like to put some of those on my ship eventually. Um, the problem is just going to be spotting them all, which will be a pain in the butt. Spotted the Wi Fi connector, T1 Gen as well. This is where I'm going to be filling up again with all the bits far too quickly and my uh, 
infantry is almost already full. I don't want to have to fly back to my ship already. Um, okay, let me go around and pick up these sentry guns. Then I'll probably go out and see what the what the other ship has before I go back. Okay, well, some of the other things I visited out here appeared to be space trash. But this, on the other hand... Sorry. Generator turned off while moving. Initializing force stop of your ship. What? Is this what happened to my... Um, SV? Anyway, this appears to be a junkyard. It's not shooting at me. It's Polaris. Um, so I think the answer is to have a quick check round here and see if um, there's any, well, detectors. It's going to be the way forward for now. Let's turn the thrusters off. And we've got to remember this is still starter territory. So hopefully it will have things like detectors. Uh, no, this one is still on. Thrusters are still on. We can even ping it to get destroyed vessel, blah, blah, blah. Now, there's lots of these destroyed vessels and everything around. And this one will have a core for sure in the usual spot I suspect which is just up under here somewhere if we go there there we go drink and we can slap this down and then take a look at what's on board but I'm hoping that with these being starter area ones they might be more likely to have things like a detector no okay so with that this means I'm going to be having a hunt around this area to see if I can find, well, anything that's more useful. Okay, well, disappointment reigns supreme in this junk field. I have been through and to be fair, I have nicely patched up the second CV. I don't believe, even though you can sort of see through it there, I don't believe it's got any holes in it anymore and gained an extra gun all the thrusters are there it's in a reasonable state of repair we will have a tour shortly um, though we're far from finished this um, junk field has been really quite disappointing um, and empty space I, I'm tempted to jump to one of these other places like empty space here because at least last time in the starter system I found something worthwhile like a really worthwhile CV to try and you know to try and build up or something like that in in the starter system and this time I'm really struggling to find some to find, you know, things like a detector. And in the previous one, when I found a CV, it had detector, shields, pentaxid tank, big generators, loads of good stuff. Gun, well, some guns. But it had some worthwhile items so far i found no detector and that's really hurting me at the moment just from the point of view of going around in a cv because it means every time i have to go and crack out the sv just to sort of detectorize the world and see what's there and I mean, I've got two SVs and absolutely no detector whatsoever. All I've got is uh, a ghost ship. We'll head over towards the ghost ship. Maybe check it out a little. Hopefully it won't shoot at us too hard. 
Um, but I, I was hoping that something would ping up here. And I'm hoping if I go towards the ghost ship, maybe something will ping up here. Let's uh, take that off to save a bit of fuel. Okay, we're on approach. We're inside three kilometers. We should be able to at least... This looks very similar to the one we took out above the planet previously. I wonder if it's got guns. Let's uh, at least fly by. Okay. I mean, yeah, this is extremely similar to the one we saw previously. But if I remember rightly, this didn't have anything like a detector aboard. I mean, it might have some fuel aboard, I guess. If I remember rightly, yeah, I'm going to disappear through this thing until I manage to pin down the core, which I've got to remember where the hell the core is. There's bits here worth having again. Uh, core, 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 where are you? Oh, I need to remember where it is on the ship. There it is. Core is right there. Okay. Let's, um, okay, can't do it with that one. Let's just, uh, blow it away with the assault rifle. And the ship spawns into existence. Now, as soon as I do this, I got a warning last time. No, not this time. Not this time. Oh god. Oh god, Weird weirdness will ensue. Okay, am um, I connected to the claw? Because I'm going to be limited as to what I can take, I think. Because I am getting weirdness bugs. Oh no, I took my salvage core. What is going on? It's like the ship is still moving. Oh no. Alright, let's take some parts here. If I take enough parts, I can build myself another salvage core. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these with some of these ghost ships. This is just a little bit crazy. That I seem to be just bouncing around in here. Like I'm in some sort of pinball machine. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. We grabbed all the bits. At least that, that was worth it. Took a bit more concentration than I'm used to. No, it's floating outside. Um... Yeah, this is weird with a capital W. So, I don't think that's enough to make myself a new salvage core just yet. No. Oh, God. So, that's a little bit upsetting. And I would like to grab... Okay. The med bay, the O2 bay... I've got plenty of these bits. The emergency teleporter. I'm even going to just take the constructor for parts. There we go. Oh, that was worth it. There we go. Hmm. This is very awkward. The one thing I would have liked to have got from this would be really fuel and O2. That's what I was really hoping to sort of lay my hands on, other than the obvious sort of um, detector. Which there could still be a detector on here. I'm about to leave remote logistics range. Okay, I don't want to do that. I didn't really want to do that, but that might actually be enough to do it. Is it enough? Nope, still not enough electronics. Phew. 
the game hates you. How is the ship still flying? How is the ship still flying? Okay, the ship has gone insane. Okay, I'm bugging out. Well, that was an interesting experience, at least. Where is uh, my ship? My ship's there. At least I didn't go too far from the ship. But that was just weird. It's a dead, crazy ghost ship that's spinning constantly and just leaves you bouncing upside down, which is lovely. Well, it appears that empty space was a bust, so I will go back to the ship and we might check out where next. Um, we've been there. We've been there. Next will be to check out the asteroid field. If that doesn't work, we're leaving this system. I think I'm done at that point. I might have to come back here for quest stuff later on, but for now, I'm definitely out of here if that's a bust. Okay, so here we are, having arrived in the asteroid field. That looks very much like what we used to. Don't know why I keep getting that bug as well, where you kind of end up inside things. It's, um, it never used to happen. It's a very sort of more recent Imperium problem. Uh, wow. Go ship. ISI. So the ghost ship would shoot at us, but the ISI would not. So I am going to start off heading towards the resource, which is oddly in a specific color. It must be Polaris owned as it's Polaris. So I'm going to head towards the resource, see what's there and see if we ping up anything else on the map as we get there. Okay, we're approaching the asteroid now. There's a Zuraxian owned uh, junk field below, but nothing else has popped up. I would ju just want to see whether there was anything on the asteroid, of which there is nothing. Okay. And there appears to be a pirate something over there. But nothing else. That seems to be it for this sector of space. So we will be jumping on. And I'll pick a place and head us out. Okay, so welcome to the Cambo A... Ka Kaimob AE system. Or Kaimob AE system, which is about 28 light years from Mantra. Um, that's where we've jumped to. In the hope of finding something interesting. Slightly disappointing, I might say. Empty space. Empty space. Uh, what type of planet is this? This looks like a lava, nascent, high gravity, hostile, meh. I mean, the only benefit with the high gravity hostile is the new the new CV, I reckon, can do it because it's got tons of thrust. Well, I reckon the CV can do it. It's got tons of thrust. Um, I'm wondering if we might find something good down there as it's hostile as all hell. Um, there's not a lot else good here, is there? Um, what is this? This is, again, like an empty space far out. It's really tempting. We've got the we've got the pentaxid at the moment to check out like one of these far out and see what they've got. You know, I'm reliably informed by know it all DM that empty space is a good place to look for good stuff. So far, can't say it's been a winner, 
but we can always give it a, another shot. Okay, so here we are once again in empty space where we found another ghost ship. Uh, and that appears to be about it again. I can't see you selling it to me, no at all. Um, <laughs> it's not selling it to me so far. I mean, maybe I'm missing the point. I'll go and check out the ghost ship again and see if it shoots at us and we'll see what happens. OK, so it's a different ship this time. Um, whether it is armed, I don't know. Different ship, for sure. As for the rest of it, can't really say. Holy crap! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. I'm guessing there might be a few bugs on those ships. Because that is just a bit freaky. It is now pirouetting in space at hyper speed I am not getting on that ship <laughs> not for love no money <laughs> that is a write off the ship that spins at speed okay with that absolutely um, depressing state of affairs I think the answer now is I'm going to go and check out the lava planet in this system because this is empty space this is empty this is asteroid field this is empty space none of those have been good for us the moons are quite promising but you have to sort of jump to each one individually even though they're very close together i'm think oh sorry punch the mic i'm thinking to check out the lava planet and see what the lava planet has we can handle the high gravity. It's going to be hopefully more rewarding, he says. But that will have to be next time because I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always and join us again next time where hopefully we might actually find something worth it. Thanks a lot.